There's two missions. Oops. El Sueño wants to meet. Sacrifice. Oh, well, I, we should probably, uh... Do you want to fly over about 15 kilometers, or do you want to fast travel? 15, flying 15 kilometers doesn't sound half bad, but you know what? Pull, go to the left real quick. Pull over to that airfield. Which air, oh, okay. Santa Blanca took them all over in the sun. Hey. <laughs> I'm out, I'm out, I'm not in seat. I will murderize your family. <laughs> How does that even work? You We're going against a person that does that, and the next thing you know, it just crashes into a building. Because we have to go like four, like fourteen kilometers still. <coughs> it's much faster in a plane than in a. Uh, yeah, I know. Doctor. Oh wait, Dave sent a photo. Up, oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> there he goes. All this. Just gonna. I just flew up in the air for some reason. It's gonna land a little bit outside the place. Oh, <laughs> oh there's the plane. <laughs> just landed next to me. We got a large cartel base. Keep your eyes open. Still don't see there's nobody in here. Stay sharp. Watch for an ambush. He said last time, and there was like. 5,000 people inside the building. That's no IED. It's ringing too much. Find it. I don't trust you just yet. There is something up here. Something's gonna explode. We're gonna get ambushed. Fuck's sake. Hola, caballeros. This is El Sueño. It is a pleasure to finally speak with you. In here I thought we were gonna meet face to face. Don't tell me you're running late. I apologize for the subterfuge. But people in our line of work where you are, then we'll talk. I am only attempting to end the bloodshed. There is no need for it. It's bad for my business. And it is bad for Bolivia. This country has been it's trying to get there. back on its feet for decades. Mm -hmm. Do not kick your dad down. Oh. This is the guy who would turn this country into his own personal glory hole. You got something of value to say? There are four cars in front of you. Consider them a signing bonus. You better say that again. Must be something wrong with my hearing. You want to hire us? You're four of the most dangerous people alive. Of course, I want to hire you. Every day you risk your life for your country, and your government pays you casi nada. Put those skills to work for me, for Santa Blanca. He will make more money than you can imagine. Sorry, we're going to have to politely ask you to go fuck yourself. See, we only came to this meeting to kill you. The fact that you aren't here just means we get a little more time on this earth. But I figure you should start saying your goodbyes, because we're coming for you, and we're going to burn you down. So be it. I will enjoy watching you try. Hold up. There's a weapons case here. Have you not answered the phone yet? Okay, there. The swing made us a pretty lucrative job offer. Job offer? Did you take it? Benefits package wasn't great. We told him we were going to kill him. You're stuck with us for now. Fair enough. Be in touch. Okay, there we go. Well, I guess that was a mission already. <laughs> New thing's pretty lit. You're seriously using his AK? Yeah. How are you, faggot? I don't know, it's just the one I've been using since the beginning of the game. I was using it, like, in the beta, so... Sucks. Does it? Because it doesn't suck for me. <laughs> like I've gotten through like a majority of the game with it, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like literally, this is like the last, I guess, main mission. So I don't see where you're complaining. I mean, you literally haven't even gotten to like a quarter of the prophecies yet. <laughs> so where's the next location? <laughs> call again. Probably is. Pre-Columbian ne necropolis. Necropolis? What the thing? Good stop. 
There's nobody yeah, here again. This is the RV. It's looking for some bed guy. Come on. Yep. <laughs> it's identify. That's the guy from the beginning, isn't it? Shit. I got a body here. It's that rebel oh, leader Amaris. We freed that guy from the cartel. I'm trying to call Yeah, it is Amaris. Amaris. <laughs> Set up a meet with Pack and one of his guys. Pack, where are you? Listen, set up Pack. We found Amaru. He's been killed. You heard from Pakatari? Pakatari is here with me and Pukara. Bowman. Bowman. Up oh, well, great. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? No idea. Well, we gotta get to Bowman fast. Never thought I'd hear myself say this about a CIA officer, but if they hurt her, I'll burn this whole fucking country down to get back at them. Right there with you, man. Eyes up. Let's get back to work. Moniok training base. Oh, well. Guess I'm going in here. Shut up. Bowman. <laughs> Need to go to the mausoleum. Pack Atari. Oh, great. He turned on us. Pack Atari has turned on us. Yeah, I know. That is heard. Diversion from what? Fuenyo. Rebels found out where he is. Get to the mausoleum. I'll meet you there. Nomad? I wonder if I'm going through this. You understand what this means, right? I wonder if I'm going through my own campaign. I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna kill every single rebel I find. Oh, great. Need a car. Rebel hostiles. What the f What happened? I was detected. Was detected. <laughs> Were we not supposed to get detected or something? Not supposed to be detected. I did not know that. <laughs> Neither did I. It's like it didn't say that we couldn't get detected. Yeah. Instead of going that way, how about we go this way? That's Reach the mausoleum. Okay. I, I wonder though, were we not supposed to get detected? How we. What? There's, there's, eh. no, there's no way. There's no way. Because so far we haven't. <laughs> Wait, why are you doing the radius on a Blanca? It's a completely different mission. Yeah, I know. Why, why, why did you go to it? Because that's one where we're not supposed to get caught. Oh, is that why you got it? Radius on Blanca. Some other stupid mission that starts up whenever. Is that why we got detected? <laughs> it's not for. Is that why we kept getting detected there? Is because you didn't do that one yet? Yeah, because I... No, I started it up and it said to the radio station without getting detected. Well, why were you at the radio like station? We had to go mission. here. We're not doing radio sound of Blanca. Jesus Christ, Ubisoft. <laughs> Did Ubisoft go stupid it's, and, like, confuse what you were on? Now. It's probably because you haven't done the mission yet. I'm going to go, like, a mile away. Did we fail? What the f- We're not dead yet. Hey, wait up, wait up, wait up. Wait up, wait up. I'm trying to get away from these- Hey, I, I'm behind you and I freaking need help. Because I lost my vehicle because it flipped over. And plus we need to get over the lead, which is all the way down over there. We need to find like a helicopter or something. <laughs> this is a bad place, bad place, bad it's place. Actually, no, it's clear down here now. I'm just dealing with freaking. Yeah, because I ran everyone over. You got Uni that after you. That's a helo. No. Your character is flipping out. out my... It was a second ago. Oh. 
So you're like five minutes left. Oh, <laughs> And they were hitting out of stamina. Holy crap lag. That's a kill. Hold up. I don't use any scopes on this game. The scopes really suck. They do they? They increase recoil a lot. Wow. We only have like four minutes left. This is gonna be a while. The weapon. <laughs> it's a stoner LMG A1. Stoner. Reminds me of Black Ops 1. I said a title, you're gonna get copyright strike. <laughs> Shit balls. Get copyright strike. Nah. There's so many enemies up here. Did this freaking reload, please? Nope. I guess not. Why is it doing that glitch to you where, uh,. Do you got a helicopter after you, or is it just the enemies up here? Ah. Enemies up there. There's only the defense one. <laughs> there we go. There's other enemies, but I don't see them. Okay, there they are. We got like one enemy up there on the left. <laughs> Might want to get up here. <laughs> I don't see the other person, so. Okay, there we go. Let's see, am I reloaded? Okay, now I can go over, see where that one dude is. There. Yep. Just open the door and then we get screwed. There's a, there's a cutscene. I want to watch it. No, quiet! Show us your fucking hands. Now! I would. But unfortunately, my hands are full at the moment. Where is he? I want to see the big bad pussy. Put it down. As you wish. I Hell in. seconds to get on your knees and interlace your fingers before I put a hollow point through your forehead. You're going to want to answer your phone, Officer Bowman. Hello? Sir? Yes. Yes, I, I don't understand. Sir, that is not possible. I am telling you that it's not. Please, I am asking you that you. Sir. Uh, yes. Uh, sir, 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 What is it? Bowman. He got full immunity. He got. He made a deal and he got. A deal with Fuck. who? Who do you think? The DOJ. Hold on. Hold on. You're not he saying. He offered up the heads of four other cartels, plus three terror groups that traffic heroin. His competition. How is this possible? As I told you, if you have power, everything else follows. If you don't mind, Senora Bowman. It seems that yesterday you were my adversary. 
Today you are nothing but my chauffeur. Take me to your supervisors. I'm sorry. Bowman, no! Well. Yeah, like why why not let us? The dream is dead. If you're watching this, that means I have executed El Sueño. I'm certain that people will think I went crazy. That I did it out of emotion, that I broke. Fuck them. They're wrong. I knew exactly what I was doing. This piece of shit, this monster, tortured my friend. Killed him. Decapitated my partner. Massacred thousands. He gets to walk? Uh, sorry, but not on my fucking watch. Given what El Sueño knew about Ricky Sandoval, he would have been unstoppable. Trivia question. What happens when you give immunity to a drug lord? Ding, ding, ding. You get a dictator. Taking out a drug lord is one thing. But stopping a dictator? You need a few more than four operators for that. My career, my freedom, my life is not worth more than the people of South America. Obviously, not everyone agrees, which is why I'm most likely now in a federal correctional institute, getting three hots in a cot for the next 45 to life for murder. By now, the CIA has probably released an official statement saying the case officer in question is no longer employed by this agency and acted in direct opposition to her superiors. Her actions have caused great harm to the continued efforts of the intelligence community here and abroad. And guess what? They're right. I would have done the same thing as them. No hard feelings here. I just hope they don't leave Bolivia. Without Pakatari, the rebellion will tear itself apart with infighting. Unidad will make a deal with the next criminal organization that comes along. And the remains of Santa Blanca will split off and form new mini-cartels. With shitty names like Nueva Frontera Cartel, Barrio Familia, and Los Hijo del Sueño. Everyone will continue killing each other for that coca. I wonder if God knew all the destruction that this little leaf would bring, would she have still created it? Or maybe that's exactly why she did. I don't even know anymore. But it's no longer my question to answer. So I leave you with this. In the dying words of Augustus, founder and first emperor of the Roman Empire, have I played the part well? Then applaud as I exit. Bowman out. Okay, then. There's still like hundreds of people in the building. Can we open the door? Nope. <laughs> Finish the story. Valencio. Thanks. Congratulations, Elsa when I was down, but you've destabilized 90% of the cartel. Missions related to additional game content do not count. You're back in Bolivia with Bowman and the Rebellion. Complete 100% of the missions to unlock a new ending. We're 98% done, I wonder why. Oh, the, yep, there it is. We actually get the uh, Sandoval mission now. Stop talking, Cooper. See, is there a place to land here? Uh, I'm just going to suspect that this might be it. Back here. 